New video into the newsroom shows a vehicle of interest following yesterday's deadly triple shooting in an east side neighborhood. Yeah, this is what this is that video. Take a look. Jacksonville police are currently trying to determine if this van in this video played a role in the shooting on Clark Street killed one person and sent two others to the hospital. According to our records, yesterday's deadly shooting brought Jacksonville's homicide cases to 100 this year, and it's only August. Yeah, this is the earliest we've reached that 100 milestone in a decade. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignier joining us live to discuss the surveillance video and the city's current homicide numbers. Yes, it's a Friday night, and while most folks are out and about having a good time out on the town, some are just now learning Jacksonville recorded its 100th homicide. While Jacksonville police continue to investigate the motive behind Thursday's triple shooting on Clark Street that left one person dead and two others hospitalized, we now know detectives are reviewing this surveillance video of a white van leaving the area around the time of the shooting. When we zoom in on the van, we can barely see the driver and it appears no one is in the passenger seat. The van has black writing on the side that is hard to read from this vantage point. Coincidentally, this deadly shooting marks the 100th homicide in Jacksonville, according to News for Jack's homicide data. We spoke with several people around town to get their reaction to the latest numbers. It's very scary. I mean, I grew up in Jacksonville. I've been here since I was seven years old. I have three children, and it's a really scary world we live in. It doesn't surprise me, honestly. Uh, there's a lot of violence, uh, depending on what part of town you're in. I mean, even here in Five Points, there is violence. I think that is a startling, sobering fact, for sure. Sure. I mean, it's definitely concerning. Um, it's kind of, you know, scary. You don't want to let your kids go out at, at night, you know, like they used to. Our data shows that during the past seven years, Jacksonville has reached 100 homicides during the fall and early winter seasons. In 2011, the city had only 99 homicides for the year. With four more months to go until this year is over, there is no telling what the final homicide numbers will add up to. One woman I spoke with tonight says that she felt is that uh, more homicides would be solved in this city if more people would speak up about what they saw and what they heard. And yesterday's uh, triple shooting is a good example of that because police are still looking for a suspect. And at this point, they don't even have an identification or any kind of identifying markers of what this suspect even looks like. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.